This is beginning to turn out a bit silly. Morning everybody. It's fantastic to see you all again. So today is going to be interesting because the forecast is rain all day and I'm in the Lake District for three days and actually the forecast is rain for all of the days that I'm here. But this is the first day. I've got to get out and the colours are looking amazing. So the colours of the beech trees and the oak trees haven't changed yet. But the colours in the bracken the ferns is just so amazing. So what I'm going to do is just hike around a little bit, not worry about getting wet, and hopefully get some interesting shots. Because there's definitely always shots out there, so you've just got to get out. Okay, here goes. Begin to turn out a bit silly. But I'm practicing what I preach in my accessories video, if you watch that. It makes a big difference, but it's getting a bit too wet now. So, hopefully from the last B-roll section, you can probably see that the weather got quite extreme. So, I've just come into the woods because I get a little bit of shelter from the rain. And, you know, it's still, it's still pretty good here. Well, still amazing here. So you can see the brackens are just changing colour and I'm just trying to find some of these silver birch, which are just beautiful. The, the leaves, it almost looks like there's 10,000 of them on each tree. Well, there probably is. Okay, that's not a good example. It always looks like there's more leaves than there should be on the tree. It just is so incredible. So what I'm trying to do in this sort of chaos here is trying to find some sort of balance. But it, it's, it, it's difficult because you know, you just think you've got a good angle on a tree or you found a nice tree and another tree gets in its way. So you've just got to sort of go round and round the tree and it takes time, but it's fantastic. Walking through all the ferns is just so amazing. So I think I've got a shot here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and shoot shoot this here. Noticed that I've changed my shoes. Um, I went back to get my wellies and walk through bottoms because I'm going to be walking in some streams and probably going to do some waterfall type shots. I'm still in the woods at the moment, just trying to find a composition. I found a few. I'll show you them in a minute, but it's it's proving tricky here. I've got to admit. Um, there's no fog, but that's no excuse because it's just beautiful colours and really nice shapes of trees. Sometimes you're just not inspired, are you? And I feel a little bit uninspired today. I don't know why, because it looks brilliant. But um, yeah, the wind's picking up as well a little bit, which makes it a little bit different, cause it's difficult, because I'm shooting at around about a quarter and eighth of a second. So I'm probably going to have to increase my ISO so I can get to about 30 of a second, because I don't want the leaves to move. But what a beautiful place to be. OK, I found a little scene here, which is quite a complicated set of silver birches actually and what I've tried to do is sort of separate them all so that they're not crossing over each other and I've been really careful there's one that I can't get to work quite well so what I've done is I've covered that one up with one of the foreground trees which is a good idea because I don't want it to be sort of poking out behind it and then there's one of the silver birches that's got some leaves on the on the branch just sort of further down so that sort of stands out from all the others so I think it I think it looks really good Certainly looks good through the viewfinder. I've spent quite a lot of time setting this shot up. So I'm quite hopeful. I'm gonna get a good one. I've got my 24 to 70 polarizer on. I'm shooting at around 35 mil. And I am focusing on the second tree in. I've focused on the first tree and the second tree just to check. I just wanna try and get 
as much as I can in focus going back, but I want to make sure I get that first tree in focus. If that's out of focus, that's, that'd be bad. So, yeah, I think it looks good, and I'm, I'm going to crop it and isolate the sky as well. Might be clearing up. Probably not. Just a break in the rain. So it's day two now and sort of the, the, the rain stopped from the last couple of days so I've got a little bit higher and I'm going to see if I can get some of the sun just sort of coming down into the fells. You can just see the light at, at the back here. So I've been out since early morning but the sun's just started to come out now so I'm hopeful I'm going to get some, some shots. Um, what I want to try and do is it's sort of focusing a little bit. Now I haven't got my really long lens, but I'm gonna sort of use my 24 to 70 and just not do super wide shots today and see how I go. But um, the rivers are so full, so I'll probably find some rivers later as well and see if I can get some river shots. It's gonna be a bit of a mash up, a bit, a few different things to see what I can get. Change my mind. I'm about to get my lens, big lens. I've been sort of scouting different places and I finally arrived here, which I think works quite well. So I've got a tree in the foreground, the river's going behind it, and I'm just waiting for the sun to go in because otherwise I've got bright spots on, on the, on the um, water where, where I've got about an eighth of a second exposure. So by waiting for the sun to go in, then I'm just going to get more flat lighting, which will be much nicer. It'll, it'll just, just be more tranquil. I won't have to worry too much about it getting the exposure perfect. I won't have to blend the exposures or anything like that, which would be really complicated with the water. So I think I've got my composition. I'm shooting with my 24-70, a polarizer again, same lens. Just a question of waiting for the sun. So as you can see, I'm back in my studio now, back out of the rain. What what a crazy few days that was. I mean, it rained for pretty much 90% of the time. But what it means is that you've got to get out there. You, no matter what the weather, no matter what the conditions, if you're not out, if you're not actually out in it with your camera, then you've no chance of getting a good shot. And I actually ended up with two shots that I really liked from this shot. One which was a fairly well planned, a lot of scouting involved, took my time, 
which is this shot here um, of, of the amazing woodland. And then the other one, which is this shot here of, of this um, sort of valley. So I, I wanna talk through both of these. I'm gonna talk about the, the planned one first of the woodland. So this, this shot here of, of the woodland was, was really interesting because it actually had just stopped raining when I got here, but everything was fairly well soaked. And I spent quite a lot of time just setting this up. I was really attracted to this tree here with these leaves on. I think this looked really good. Um, and then I really like these ferns down here that hadn't turned yet. And I was in two minds of whether to make it a vertical, which I actually think looks quite good as well, or a horizontal. Now I'll probably post the vertical on Instagram. So go and have a look at that. I'll probably post, in fact, I'll post both on Instagram, um, the vertical and the horizontal and see which you like most. I, I sort of change my mind every time I look at it, but I think the horizontal is my favorite. Um, and it was a question of just getting the focus right, making sure everything's in focus in this foreground area here, especially this prominent tree here. Um, and then just thinking about the edges, you know, I've got some distractions over there, but I don't think that really matters. And and yeah, I really like it. It's, it's quite chaotic, but it sort of tells the story of the ferns, early autumn really. So yeah, I, I, I'm really pleased with that. And I took a lot of woodland scenes and this was the only one that I really, really liked. But that's typical when I go and do photography for a few days, you know, I'll probably come back with, if I come back with one good one, I'm, I'm really pleased. So then onto this one, which was completely different than that, because that was really well planned. Whereas this, this shot here, um, wasn't well planned at all. <laughs> so this, um, I was, uh, this is on the second day, I was, I'd gone and walked for quite a long time, gone back to get my longer lens, I think I showed it in the video, and I just couldn't find a good composition on that walk, got back in the car, was driving down this road, which I'd seen from my drone, so I thought, actually, it'd be good to drive down there, because I think the lighting looks good, there's some good um, autumn colors on the side of the ferns that have changed color, and then I got this stunning light that lasted just a few minutes and I managed to grab the shot. It was handheld with my 24 to 70. And um, yeah, I think it just shows how, you know, simplicity is important. What I was trying to think about when I took this shot was just how can I get the simpler shot here? Because, I, you know, there was, there was a bit more of the river. There was a house, a barn as well in, I could have included. And, I just don't think it would have worked. It needed to be super simple, this shot. Um, and it works because there's lots of diagonals, there's simplicity, your eye sort of leads through. Um, but there's nothing overly, you know, clever about it. It was just at the side of the road, handheld, grabbing an opportunity, really. But the thing is, if I wasn't out, if I wasn't driving my car, if I hadn't flown my drone and found this spot, if I hadn't put myself in that situation, then I wouldn't have got the opportunity to take it. And that's the key thing with photography. You've got to put yourselves in as many situations as possible. The more you try, the harder you try, you know, the, the more effort you put into it, the more it gives you back. Um, and you just fail a lot, but eventually you'll start to get shots that you enjoy. So I hope you like that. I hope, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've got another video coming out next week, um, which I'm quite excited about. I was gonna post it last week, but it wasn't quite finished on the Photographer's Toolkit. So make sure you check that out. And I'll also announce the winner um, of the um, strap and the, and the clip next when that comes out as well. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. And until then, bye. <laughs>